Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Leah. I'm a collage artist and today we're doing something very special. I had the privilege of going through my grandmother's things after she moved into a retirement home and there was just so many treasures. So I wanted to make a video of this and show you how cool some of these things are and then maybe we'll go make some collages with them. And one of those things is an entire box full of postcards from her great aunt. So somehow I have another collage material reveal for you just shortly after the last one. Now this box is not like the last box. It's full of all sorts of really cool things that I was looking through in the bookshelves. So instead of showing my grandmother's home, I'm going to show the pieces in their places in my home now. While I was doing this, I was like, oh, it's kind of creepy to go through someone's stuff. And then I realized that's what a thrift store is. So this is just my own personalized thrift store. So let's take a look and then maybe we'll create a piece with something that we find. The first item I wanted to show is this beautiful little apple. You might see it has a little thing on the back. It's actually a music box. The next thing is this beautiful lantern. It has a, a wall attachment, so I've just pulled it out of it. And when I got it, I was wondering if it was working. So we gave it a try last night and almost burnt the house down. <laughs> this thing is definitely working and the flame was up to here because we put the, uh, this too long. I'm not even sure what this is, but it's like the rope that's dipped in the, um, I'm guessing lighter fluid or kerosene oil. Next up, another flammable, but I found this adorable little lighter. Can you just picture how classy this is? Like lighting your cigarettes with these. <laughs> Not that I smoke, but uh, you know, everyone back in the day did. And it's got such cute little detailing as you can see around it. I was just in awe. So here she is, this is the box. I love this box, I think it's so beautiful and I feel like I've seen so many fake versions of this box before with these stickers, but this is a proper shipment label for uh, baggage on a ship as well as I believe the person that owned this was in the war. So I'm not sure if this went there or it's an after piece, uh, but we're gonna find out maybe there's something inside that we can unlock the history of it. Also, maybe I'll just change my name to Crazy Box Lady because that's what I've started to become. <laughs> so why don't we take a look inside? I don't really remember what I grabbed, so even just opening this already, it's a surprise. Um, I forgot that I grabbed this. It's uh, a fireplace pump for air. I thought it'd be really cute if we hung it on the wall. Here's the first book. So it's uh, Wildflowers of Canada, and it has all these beautiful botanical images. Like these are just so nice and it's full color, full bleed. And there's so many of them, I just, I had to grab it. The next one I grabbed is this A Day in the Life of Canada. Uh, I've been looking to do works with my uh, geography within it, like historical Canada, historical Toronto. Uh, I haven't really found any books that I really liked and this one just had some pretty interesting images. Rocky Mountains. They really are just everyday photos, but they're very beautiful ones. And they even have a little map in the corner uh, that shows where the photos were taken, which I thought was a really great idea. The next one is Diary of an Arctic Year, and it has a lot of really beautiful images as well. Like this pattern is crazy, it's so beautiful. I could see using that for sure. The original double rainbow, so pretty. And it's also got some botanicals. I love this piece. I think I could definitely use this and I can just picture what it would look like all cut out. The next one I grabbed was ABC's Nature. Although I don't use that much nature, so it's kind of like a lot for me to have all of these. Um, I've seen collage artists actually use this exact book and I loved some of the things that came out of it and 
It just has so many uh, like illustrated smaller images, uh, which is great for finding like little background pieces, mid-ground pieces, uh, for making basically anything. If I ever get stuck, I will definitely come to this book to find some images. It's really funny how things come to you after you kind of have an idea. So in my last vlog, I went to an art gallery and saw these postcards, vintage postcards that I was like really jealous of. I definitely wanted to start collaging with some postcards. And then I found this entire suitcase full of postcards from I think the 1930s to 1960s. Everything else was actually already in here. So this is where it's going to be a surprise for you and a surprise for me of what's in the box. I'm also going to try to keep everything in the order I found it, just in case there's any relevance to it, but these all look like they're from the same place. They're from British Columbia. I think these are so beautiful, and it's so interesting to see. This is a postcard of Vancouver from 1939. This is the Lionsgate Bridge. 1939 as well. These look like just little cutout photos of inspiration of places that someone wanted to go. So there's Brussels here. And then we go all the way up to Alaska in this one. This one says along the Alaskan highway. This is the White Pass and Yukon Railway skirt shores of historical Lake Bennett. This is downtown Yellowknife. This is a gold pan full of gold nuggets. What's interesting so far about looking at these postcards is that none of them are signed. So clearly someone was collecting these for themselves to have like photos to bring home. So definitely someone who was not a photographer themselves probably bought these to keep little uh, mementos of everywhere that they were going. So although I haven't looked through everything yet, um, I feel like I shouldn't go through everything just to keep the magic there. Um, I'm going to take one of these postcards and try to turn it into a junk journal page though. I feel like that's a good little starter for this uh, and I have my other books to look through as well. So let's give that a shot. Now that that's open I'm gonna go through these postcards and I'm really excited because these are like exactly the size of the page like for example this one fits like if that wasn't in the way but it's literally the exact size of the page so I think that these are gonna be great for that and then they're gonna have a nice second life in this book and so I'm wondering if I should pick one to go all the way across or if I should do two smaller ones. I kind of like the idea of merging these two with like a background or something. That one goes there and this one kind of overlaps and maybe this one's cut out with something in the background different. Also if you use these tea bags they always have little phrases on them and I was literally about to throw this one out and it fell off and I tried to throw it out twice and it didn't and I was like well maybe there's a better use for this so I'm gonna try to use this in the collage it says the plants have enough spirit to transform our limited vision 
on the back of these it says that these are from the Canadian Arctic and just by chance if you remember from before I went through and showed some books and I have this the diary of the Arctic I couldn't find any plants in that one, so I'm just gonna look through this ABCs of nature and look for a plant that is local to the Arctic. I couldn't find anything in that book, even though I used the index and everything, but I think that this book will be good, Bald Flowers of Canada, and it even has my great aunt's name, Davies, right there, so I have some faith that there's a little spirit in this book that will help me. I know this isn't for today's project, but one day I'm super excited to use this. I could see me like cutting this out and having things coming in and out and around it. I think it could be like a really modern but really interesting piece. And I also love this daisy picture. I'm also just gonna cut this one out for backup because I love this one here, but maybe the pink won't work. So I just wanna have a more neutral color tone as well, just in case we need it. So there's kind of two options with this piece now that I'm seeing it all together as well, is that maybe this is just one piece and this one doesn't become a part of it. Um, Cause this fox is big, right? Like that could take up that entire picture. If that's the case, then I'll have to use this one cause that'll fill the page as well. And then I still love the idea of having this guy kind of like in the tail of the fox with him, like cuddled up. Um, and then maybe this just gets like shoved into the plants. So you'll see as I'm cutting too, I don't do a straight line. That's because this fur is so textured here. If I do this with hair as well, is you never just wanna cut straight or they end up looking like they have like a dome head. I didn't get the edge perfect on this one, but this is for the junk journal. So this done as quickly as possible and also trying to get this done before the sun sets. This doesn't fit perfectly, but I kind of like how it's very equally distributed and just throwing this on 
it basically fits too. I like how the flowers are right by the fox, so I'm wondering if maybe I can elevate these and bring them forward so that they're like entangled with the branches. Before that, I'm just gonna quickly cut him out. I think he's gonna go like right into the tail. I like where this is going and the colors just work so well together. I'm guessing because they're all from the Arctic, they all have similar natural colors. Next steps is cutting all of these out with an X-Acto knife. See, my problem with the junk journal sometimes is that I really actually like this one and I don't really want to bend it in the journal, so maybe this is not for the junk journal after all. <laughs> I'm happy with this so I'm gonna go ahead and glue down these flowers in the branches first and then move into this uh, and then I will uh, do the background and cut off the edge. One of my favorite parts of finishing artwork is flipping it over and seeing the back side. I see that there's these holes here from the ones that went in there and then I'm going to take this little piece um, here and I'm going to stick it on the back with the name of the plant that I cut out as well. I like to take this and I'll cut out this little piece here just so that I have that for um, if I ever want to know where this came from I have it right there. As I'm doing this I'm actually really loving this as well though so this could be a negative that then goes into the book potentially I love this as well with the view I can almost flip it over and it's a piece of itself I think it'll still look cool with this just because that's the outline so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this little section As I said, this one was supposed to go in the junk journal, but honestly, look at the pieces that we have here. Maybe this is <laughs> a little quick part two, but I'm loving kind of this feel, look and feel. I could cut that in. Um, I still have this little paper cut there. I don't know, there's something interesting. I even love how this is almost shaped exactly like the canoe. 
or the kayak, sorry. Just like that, it's the exact same shape, so I wonder if it could like come out of here a little bit. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button for my channel. 